Hi everyone, I'm back with another video and this time I actually have some live shopping. I didn't really get that many games today, actually, I think I only got one, but um, I got some game related stuff and some machines and stuff, so let's get right to it. So the other day I bought a controller off a guy on Kijiji actually for $10, but I don't have the charging cord, so I got rid of, because I got rid of all my Xbox 360 stuff, I thought I was done with it, but then I got all these systems, so this is just so I can test them, I'm hoping it still has some battery power in it, or I'll have to find a charger. But that's fine, $10, I'd rather not get it cheaper, but that's fine. Um, I bought some stuff at Value Village this week. I got a power plug. Well, actually, this was at a different thrift store. It was a power plug for the GameCube. I think I might have a spare GameCube that needed one of these. And this was around, it was $3.98. So it was pretty good because Value Village usually does them for just over 5 So I thought, okay, I'll have one on hand. That's good. And I bought this weird attachment for the uh, Super Nintendo. It's a power plug by Tyco. And that was $3.99 at Valley Village, but I had a discount that day. And um, it just makes the game like turbo and stuff like that. I just thought, well, I don't have it, so I wanted to get it. Um, also, the other thrift store, I found this. It's not really necessary anymore. It was $2.98. It's an attachment for the GameCube or Nintendo 64 to make it into an RF switch. And I thought that was kind of neat because I don't have one of those, but like I said, they're not really necessary anymore, but it was just kind of a neat little novelty. And then we come to today. Oh, also, actually one more thing I got was a plush Bowser. I think he was like $2.99, so kind of cute. I didn't have a Bowser yet, so that's good. I have a lot of stuffies, but they're packed away as well, so I had to get the little Bowser. Um, today I got at Value Village, it was $4.99, a little bit more than I'd want to spend, but I knew if I left it behind I'd regret it. So I got for $4.99 a Super Mario Yoshi. He's still in the box. If he wasn't in the box I wouldn't have paid $4.99, but since he is, I thought that wasn't too bad. I have, I think Mario, I might even have Yoshi, I have Toad, but they're all out of the box. And they were really cheap, like a dollar probably, but, so that was a cute little find. Okay, and one other thing I found at a thrift store was this here, and it's Dragon's Lair 3D action figure. It's Mordrock, and he's still in the box. They said, oh yeah, his head's missing, but actually it's just fallen off. It's like a little head that you can like snap on, so I'm not worried about it. It's sealed, so I don't know how the head fell off, but it looks like it's just on a pivot thing, so I bought that. It was $4.50, a little bit more, but I thought it was pretty neat, so they have a whole bunch of different characters you can collect. So I thought it was kind of cool. 
Okay, so now we're coming to the garage sale finds. I didn't have like a whole lot of stuff. I did have one really, really good find though. Um, so let's get at it. I found this really bizarre thing. It's a Nintendo DS jewelry box. It says three dollars. I paid two, which I still think is a lot because it's kind of got some damage on the bottom. But I thought, okay, well, it's got to have some sort of Nintendo thing to do with it, right? I, at first, I thought maybe they put it. Someone put a sticker on it, but it looks like it's original from what I can see on the internet. It is. Um, then you go inside, and it's got like a place for rings and stuff like that. I don't think you're supposed to put your DS games in here because this looks like a place for rings. And I thought that you'd put like at least a Fire Flower or a Yoshi or something here, or maybe a Princess Peach to prove that it's Nintendo, right? But they didn't put anything besides a flower, and then this stuff really has nothing to do with Nintendo at all. So I guess they're just trying to tap into the girls' market, and they're doing stuff like that. And then it's got two little drawers. I asked them if they had any games, but they didn't. I think you're supposed to put your DS in there, and then the games in here. But, yeah. That's okay. So now we come to the good find. It's the GameCube that I found on that video. And actually, I didn't expect to find it at this garage sale. And it's a black GameCube. I already have a few of these, so I'm going to be selling this one eventually. I hope it works. She said it did, but who knows. I also um, noticed it came with an original memory card. I think that's one that came with Animal Crossing. An aftermarket memory card, but those are always good. They have about an $8 value, I guess. And it also came with two controllers, this purple one, but it's kind of broken there, so it's not really, that one's not very good. And a black one, and it didn't have the TV connector cord, but it had, it had this power cord with it. So I got all that, it was $5. I was so happy it was $5, but there's even a bonus. If you open it, there is a game inside, and it is, I haven't actually looked at it yet, oh it's in really good condition, it's Mario Party 6, hope you can see that really good, not sure with the lighting, um, I already have Mario Party 6, I need 7, but these sell for like about $25, so I'm really really happy, because then I can buy something else, but I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, I'll hold on to it for a little bit, oh it looks like the door's broken on it too it's stuck but that's okay I fixed it there you go but um, five dollars can't complain so I haven't found that many great things for games that I don't have yet or anything like that but um, I had a pretty good weekend overall and tomorrow I have my garage sale so I'll also show a few items on here and I'm not sure if you saw in the video there uh, one house I went to they had a um, Nintendo Wii and they wanted $35 for it. It was so grimy, or $30. And then they said $50 if they include the Wii Fit board, which has like zero value now. I think I paid $90 for mine brand new, but it has like zero value. So I was just like, yeah, no. I think I would have given like $10 for that Wii. It was in terrible condition. How do I know if it even works? And they had some games there. They had Rayman, $5, and a whole bunch of really, really lame games, like just fit games and dancing games. And I was just like, no. So I'll show you some of the stuff that I'm going to be putting in my garage, so hopefully. Okay, so I'll show you some stuff, and thanks for watching. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, so here's some of the stuff I'm going to be putting at my garage, so hopefully. I've got a babysitting mama game. I think I bought that a, probably about a couple months back now, so the game's in here. There's a NBA game, Halo. Fable. I put higher prices on them because people want to negotiate. And actually, right now I live in a city of about 100,000 people. It's a pretty small city. But I'm planning on moving to a city with over a million people. And I'm certain I'm going to make some more money. Seaman and Shenmue. That's a really great game. We got Toe Jam and Earl Planet on Funkatron. And that's, I already have. So, um, what else is in here? Grand Theft Auto Trilogy. It's missing one disc. When I bought it, I was so mad. I would have got more money for it, but eh, oh well. Uh, just some rumble packs, that type of thing. I have a couple other GameCube games I'm going to throw in maybe, and that's about it. Okay, well thanks for watching. Bye.